Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be looking at Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Now, I am level 60, which essentially means uh, key level 60. If you guys want some comparisons, uh, if you play WoW, that's item level. If you play Destiny 2, that is light level. That's essentially what that is. And it's pretty good. I can do like mid tier stuff now, like silver level stuff, which is right under gold and I'm almost to gold which i'm really excited but with these type of videos we're going to be looking at each of the character classes now i decided to separate these because of techniques and appearance appearances mostly because uh appearances is going to take like the biggest chunk of the whole video but some things i will not be explaining in other videos is essentially like tech or the gear and the emotes so gear basically means like what that sounds like it's your gear your your bow your charms your wep your ghost weapons and your katana the katana is in a uh, special case because you get these uh basically stone katana water katana there's other ones as well but as you guys can see my water katana it it's good against shieldmen it's basically giving you the stances from the original game and giving it to you as a as an item level i have one that's stone katana and i have it stone master but you you can get ones that have like oh this one has water katana so you can differentiate between the both between, between both of them so the one that i'm using currently is way of the flame which if you guys remember that's the one that just makes your swords on fire which is great so I just got this one not too long ago. I'm really excited. I was using Stone Master, and that one makes your heavy go faster and it increases your final attack. So that's really cool. I'm excited to see more of these epics and legendaries because they are legendaries. So again, bow just does more damage and gives you other things as well. I still need an epic for this one to see what kind of cool things it gives you. The charms are really cool because I have one that increases max resolve. And I'll explain what resolve is. Well, you guys know what the resolve is, but what they're specifically used for in the multiplayer. These are really cool because it gives you actual bonuses that you would actually want to use, like ultimate da damage and stagger damage, or ultimate damage and ability cooldown reduction, stuff like that. Like, I'm really ex excited for that. And then here we get to the ghost weapon. So you get kunai, you can th throw dirt. Throw dirt's pretty cool. It's just hard to compare them to the other ones like i think kunai is really cool because it just already staggers and it does damage and the one i have has lights targets on fire and the really cool thing is that you can actually modify so let's say i don't like any of this i can actually not only reforge everything but it also bumps my key level to whatever level i'm currently at so as you guys can see it's 59 right there it could, I could bump this up to 61 if I really want to. I'm not. It's gonna. It's a blue. I'm not going to take my chances. But possible outcomes, I can actually bump this to an epic because my chances are 30%. That's actually really fucking cool. So, or let's say you just want to change the status effect duration thing. Maybe you want something else. You can actually buff that as well. Or the bottom one, I can change that as well. So that's really cool. I really like this this is this is really cool and then last but not least we have the other ghost weapon which in my opinion smoke bomb is probably the best call traps are really cool to really stop enemy movement but you can already do that with smoke bomb and with smoke bomb you can essentially kill people like stealthily so you know that's pretty much it for the gear let's look at the emotes and effects so these are really cool they're basically effects for your sword and I ended up getting this one not too long ago, which I'm really excited about. But the one that I want is probably the blood one and the ink one. Yes, that's the ones that I want. So these are really cool. Obviously, uh, go ham with what you want. And the spe I mean, emotes, honestly, the only one I want is this one. Like, if I'm going to be really honest with you, this one, maybe this one, and then the monkey one for sure. Those are like the only ones I would ever use really. So I'm not gonna look through all of these just because they're emotes. I don't really care that none of them are like really that crazy to me. Like all of them are just like whatever's. So 
Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's look at the techniques. So techniques is the Hachiman's Fury. That's your ultimate for the samurai. It essentially kills three people immediately. I'll probably have some footage of like that happening right now. This is really cool because essentially you just kill a bunch of people and there's actually an ability where you get to kill two more people. It's really cool. So the class ability is spirit pull, which is one of my favorites. While active, your spirit pull passively siphons health from a nearby enemy. This is like really vital because in this game, it's really hard to get your health back. So yeah, that's really cool. The other class ability is Explosive Blade, which melee attacks deal deal damage and explosions on impact. I haven't used this one mostly because I think the Spirit Pull is just better because it make it just means I can be a little bit more reckless because I can essentially just get my health back. And then here we get to the other perks, which essentially Defender Rank Two, increase base health by twenty five. Increase melee damage by 10% and then decrease class ability cooldown by 10 or 15%. Uh, cur currently, I'm using the increased melee damage by 10%. I would probably do the, the ability cooldown just because the ability is so useful. The next perks are going to be lightning reflexes, parry incoming arrows while blocking, critical defense, increase parry and dodge window when at low health and then increase max resolve. I'm gonna do the increased max resolve because I already have four. And if I have five, that just means I just have to get one more resolve to get another super. So for me, I'm obviously gonna do this one. And last but not least is perk three, which is heavenly strike. If you guys remember from the base game, this is the one where you get a free kill most of the time. This one, I really wish I could use this one more, but the next one is the one that I'm going to probably use is Hachiman's Fury Frenzy, which lets you kill two extra enemies. This is the best one, honestly. I mean, the next one's really good once you get legendaries. Let's look at that one right now. Legendary rank 18 increases the number of legendary items you can equip by one. So essentially, you can actually have two legendary items, which is really really fucking cool so those are the techniques i am really excited to basically get all of them and start fucking around i definitely want to use explosive blade just to see if it's vi viable but i just i don't see it being viable uh i could be wrong especially since honestly it's not that hard to heal yourself especially if you actually are killing people uh not only that you actually do get a one like what is it one of the ghost weapons it is an actual like flash that you can heal yourself which is definitely viable i love using it i used it every time but yeah that's pretty much the techniques let me know in the comments below what you guys like and think is going to be viable next one's going to be the appearance which is going to be the bulk of the video and one thing that i like and dislike is the fact that the masks are shared from the base game which I think is kind of a shame. Uh, not saying I'm disappointed or anything. It's just that you got to remember that we're playing a game based off of Oni and whatnot. So I would have really loved to see more Oni masks. And we have two Oni masks like this one and this one, which are essentially the same ones, but they're broken. That's kind of like the thing that I don't like. It's the fact that they're broken. So for me, I would have preferred like have them have a separate tab where it's like here are the masks you can get for the raid for doing all the story missions on gold stuff like that i would have preferred that and you might never know they might start adding more stuff in the future but that would probably be one of my one of the things that i would tell sucker punch like i would love to see separate masks for the multiplayer that really doesn't work for one class so i would say just give them something else like specifically just for them because you'll we, I'm talking about uh, the the assassin. The assassin, if you guys don't know, he only has the class item, which is his helmet. So I would say give him something else. Give him like some really cool shurikens or something. I don't know. So yeah, that's the only thing that kind of like blows, but whatever. It's not that big a deal when you see the other things. So class item is the helmet for the samurai as well, but it's really cool because you can, so, Let's look at the, some of the things. So 
This is the last portion for the rank, aside from one more, which is this one right here. This is the last ranked one, which looks really cool. Once you complete rank 20, I think you get all of the pieces because you get the rank, you get this one at rank 19 and you get the body at rank 20. So that's your like, your last armor that you get just for ranking. Then you get to the, the real specific stuff like complete mission objectives in survival missions, uh, complete a quick play survival mission on gold difficulty, complete a survival mission on gold difficulty without losing a defense area. You, you get my drift. Uh, what's really cool is this is basically the Gosaku armor helmet from the base game. At least that's what I, I thought I thought of the first time I saw it. This is Uncle's helmet from the base game. I apologize, uh, that's my phone. But I like this helmet a lot. It's really cool. And then we get to the raid armor. This is actually the armor for, that you get from the raid. And what's really cool is the fact that you can actually just get this armor from collecting hidden chests in the actual raid, which is cool. Really cool. It make it just it kind of makes me happy that they actually just give you armor if you come if you get all the armor for or if you get all the hidden chests in the raid, which is really cool. Same thing for this one, uh, chapter two with all hidden chests completed. And then chapter three, without any ghosts reaching five stacks of corruption, which obviously is connected to some sort of, uh, I was about to say mechanism, but that's not the right word. It's probably connected to some sort of debuff that we're not supposed to get. Uh, this one's probably not gonna be too hard if it, it's kind of like we can switch off debuffs and whatnot. I'm so excited for the for the raid. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. Like I'm so excited. So that was these are the raid armors i'm definitely going to show you the body later but then we get to the find um Gyozin's lost scrolls find and collect oni treasure and then survive Gyozin's curse which essentially are all like all of this is just in the story missions so these are not that hard the only thing is the collect oni treasures you have to have two players to collect it because i did go through I did go through it by myself and I was not able to get the Oni treasure and I didn't even find the Gyozin's curse. So I still have to do these and I'm really excited because these are not hard at all. You just have to get up to silver. So let's get up to the, the ones I was talking about. Ashen, obviously, like I said, reach nine, rank 19 and you'll get it. I'm almost there. Uh, unlocked by completing feet. What is it? Complete bonus objectives and survival missions, which is not hard. Uh, just going to take you a little bit of time. And then this one, unlocked by completing collecting weekly rewards, three weeks. This is gonna take you three weeks to get. This is the one I want because you're literally, I don't know if you guys can see, but you, you're literally like spewing out ink and that's fucking fire. I want that. We get to the port where it's kind of weird in my opinion. So here we get to the Cinder theme, which complete a nightmare story mission with all bonus objectives same thing and then right uh same thing as well for this one or not same thing complete a nightmare survival mission without losing a single defense so these are basically just complete the same objectives as the other ones but on nightmare difficulty i'll show you guys the the different game modes and whatnot in a separate video mostly because i want to actually show you guys in depth what everything is but i think these look good uh the purple one is definitely going to be the one that i'm going to want to scoop up and it's pretty cool. Most likely, uh, Sucker Punch is gonna do this in seasons. So once like the season one's over, then the Smoldering uh, Cinders is probably gonna be taken away or something, or it's probably gonna get harder to get. Uh, I don't have an issue with that. Not really, quite honestly. Uh, FOMO and all that, you know, makes money, so whatever. But I think a lot of these helmets are really cool. Let's look at the bodies real quick. The bodies are really cool because they're just fucking fire. You get an all black one and then you get another all black one, which is really cool. Uh, the white one's really cool as well. And then we get to the, what is it? Yeah, the, the armor from the base game, which is cool, I guess. I, I personally don't really care about this armor, but then we get to the, the Gosaku armor essentially is what it is. And if you guys can see, I, I have I only have two left to unlock. I actually got a portion of it already unlocked just by playing the game. 
and I got one of the hardest one, which is get five perfect parry kills without taking damage. This one was fucking hard, but I got it. Unfortunately, there's no uh, Kamakuri green helmet, so I just don't know what I would wear with it, but whatever. And then we get to the raid armor, which I will say the raid armor for the body is kind of disappointing. I would have loved to see portions of like actual Oni body parts on me. Like maybe for one of the shoulder pieces, I could have actually had one of their heads, like an actual Oni, not like what they give us in the game, which is like a human with an Oni mask. I mean like a legit like demon face or better yet, just put the mask on my shoulder. I would have much preferred this because it's essentially just the Sakai family armor leveled up all the way, but with guts and stuff on it. Uh, personally, like I said, it's really hard to bitch about free content, but I don't think free content is like untouchable. So for me, this armor is really weak. I would have, like I said, I would have preferred to see like the armor be inspired for from the tale of EU or IO, whatever it's called. And you, you guys could probably like say, oh, well, it is because, you know, it's all about guts. But me personally, like if we're going to fight a boss in the first ch chapter, second chapter or whatever, then I would have loved to see like maybe the boss's head on my shoulder or like horns coming out, like make it look demonic, something like that. Because the other armor sets are basically the same as well. They like they have no changes aside from this one, which makes the guts white. But for me that's not good enough so uh sorry sucker punch i'm really not trying to like attack you guys but just me personally i feel like the armor is just a little lackluster the helmets helmet or the helmets i think are fire like i do know i i'm not blind i know you guys are reusing the sakai heart helmet but the horns are really fucking cool and then the fur on top of it is really fucking cool as well maybe instead of the sakai like each armor piece it would have been cool if you it was like a little bit like more spiky a little bit more demonic or something like that but i mean for the first like season or the first batch of like this dlc i'm okay with it whatever to be honest it still looks cool i'm still gonna fucking get it it's just like i said a little a little disappointed in the armor because it's a raid armor i think the raid armor should be like fucking fire Next one is going to be the Shadow Ginkgo, which is the ones for completing the the story stuff. Complete quick play story missions on gold difficulty or higher nine times. Kill enemies with Hachiman's Fury, which this one's not going to be hard to get. I'm already almost there. And then kill an enemy with Heavenly Strike ability, which this one I might. Ooh, man, I really like the color combination on this one. I might have to go for it. Uh... Then Ashen, like I said, rank, re, reach rank 20, which I'm almost there. I like this armor set. It looks really fucking cool, so I'm going to definitely scoop this up. Then Complete Daily Challenges, which I like this one a lot. I, obviously, arrows and all that shit. I actually probably like this more than the swords, just because this one seems a little bit more realistic. Uh, I don't know why that came into my head, but it just looks like something I would see a samurai like have. Just a bunch of arrows on them. And then the last one, or collect weekly rewards. Seven rewards. So two, seven weeks for this. That's almost two months, my guy. That's wild. And then last but not least, uh, Smoldering Cinders. Which, I'm not going to lie, the Cinder theme is kind of lackluster. It's literally just this armor set. The Gosaku armor set, but without the... Without the whatchamacallit without the the jacket there we go that's what i was thinking so me personally oh if for like armor like this especially that has like some glowing effects i would have loved to see something we have never seen before just to really make it pop that much more or it's really hard to bitch about this because it does look cool it does don't get me wrong it doesn't look bad it looks cool it's just i've seen this armor already like i i would have loved to see something new or something I don't know. It's, it, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. That's pretty much it. I, obviously, we have sword kits as well, but I'm not going to show you all of them because that's fucking wild. 
I think I'll just show you the last two or three, which is this one's really cool. This one is cool as well. And then I think this one's probably my favorite. Uh, but if I'm being realistic, I, this is my favorite. It's black. It's all black. I know I'm an edge lord, but I love it. It looks cool. And unfortunately, it's easy to get. I would have loved to see something a little bit harder, but I don't, whatever. Fuck it. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the samurai in the comments below. The next one is going to be the hunter, which is the only class I haven't played yet, but I will play her because obviously, duh. So we're going to go hunter, then ronin, then assassin. So if you're looking for the assassin one, it's probably going to be like three days from now or two, whatever. We'll see. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all these links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I will talk to you guys later.